Welcome to the Capitalized Life YouTube channel. I'm Matthew Johnson, president and owner of Johnson Wealth and Income Management. I do hope you enjoy today's video. So I have to tell you a little personal experience. Recently I took some personal time and went out to a place that I'd always wanted to go to that was on my bucket list called Moab, Utah. And the reason I wanted to go to Moab, Utah is I'm a Jeep enthusiast. I've had a Jeep for a few years now and I just, I'm completely smitten with Jeeps. I think that they're one of the most amazing little automobiles that was ever created. And Moab, Utah is the Jeep capital of the world. It's like taking any Sturgis gathering and taking it times 10, except it's no, not Harley drivers, it's Jeep drivers. Men, women, young people, it's just amazing. But the one thing that was really interesting about Moab, Utah, is even though it's hot, it's dry, it's desolate, and it's extraordinarily beautiful, the fact is, is that it is a land of many uses. It does not matter if you go to Moab, if you are into hiking, you're into running, you're into whitewater rafting, you're into bicycling, you're into archaeology and you want to look at pictographs or whatever those things are, those, those things that the Indians drew in the mountains, okay, whatever they are. Or you just want to go on really hairy Jeep trails. It's okay. You can find anything to do in Moab, Utah. So we go out there because I think I have a pretty decently built Jeep. I got big 35 inch tires. I've got heavy duty suspension. It's raised a little bit. <clears throat> I think I got a pretty good rig. And I get there and I realize mm, I might have a mediocre rig, but I don't have a good rig. I don't have as good of a rig as potentially I need to have. You see, I knew absolutely nothing about the territory. I, I knew absolutely nothing about the trails. I had no familiarity with what they were like, where they went, what kind of obstacles I was going to be encountering. And the names alone, well, besides making you laugh, they made you kind of cry at the same time because there were trail names like Metal Masher and Steel Bender and Hell's Revenge. And when you got on these trails, you realized very, very quickly that, you know what, these names were given to these trails for a reason. It was boulder after boulder after rock climb after obstacle. And you couldn't just motor up these trails. You actually needed people outside in front of your Jeep helping you uh, basically steer and spot because you couldn't see where your next tire was going. And sometimes you would have three tires touching the ground. Sometimes you would only have two just because you were balancing between the rocks as you were trying to climb. I soon realized that this is the reason that there's so many Jeep enthusiasts and off-roaders that spend thousands of hours of time working on their Jeep. It's also the reason that they spend thousands of dollars working on their Jeep. And I used to think, well, you know, they're, they're, they just want a really nice Jeep. No, the reason that they spend all the time working and improving and building this Jeep to what it is, is because they need it to be that way in order to be able to traverse the terrain. I realized at that very moment that you and I are going to be encountering this thing called retirement. And it's a territory that, yeah, we've heard about, maybe we've looked into it, but it's so very different when you actually get there. And this is the reason that so many people need to have an advisor. You see, the financial advisor is the person that's sitting in the cockpit of the plane. They're 30,000 feet in the air. And when you're driving your little automobile, it's about 200 miles. Gosh, maybe it's less than that. Maybe it's about 20 miles to the horizon for you. But at 30,000 feet, I have 200 miles that I can see. You see, there's a difference. And the difference is this, that I work and help and coach literally thousands of people through this process called retirement. 
And if you're getting close to retirement, if you're within five years of retirement, the question begins to become more serious. Do you have what it takes to successfully retire? Is your retirement savings, is your retirement plan, is it built for retirement? And when I talk about being built for retirement, keep in mind, I'm not talking about just pure savings. You see, having all the accumulation tools in the world to try to accumulate and save money, that's important. Of course it is because, well, the more money you have saved for retirement, the more chance of success you have. But the real key to success is being able to take what you've accumulated and understand what tools it's going to take to turn those saved dollars into income. Because when you get to retirement, remember the way that you most successfully navigate retirement is by having more income than you can ever possibly spend. You have more income at the beginning of the month than you're going to spend, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have an excess and a surplus at the end of the month. And that is the thing that's going to allow you to be able to successfully reach the end of the trail. So I know the metaphor is a little bit corny, but it works, doesn't it? Because there's so many paths in life and we hear about the paths, but we don't quite understand what the path entails and what's in it for us until we actually get on that path. And if you've been thinking, you know what, I'm getting closer and I think I might need a little bit of help on this, may I encourage you to reach out to us. I'll take a few minutes out of my day to help you understand some of the tools that will help you become a successful retiree. Until next time, thanks for watching our video. Please share it with your friends and give them encouragement that there is the possibility of success in retirement if you only use but the right tools. And remember, it's up to you to make it a great day.